Okay, so I have for sale a 2008 CBR 600 RR. It's a little over 42,000 miles. Clean title, never dropped. It's been sitting in storage for two years. I just put on new Continental tires, front and rear, and a new uh, AGM battery, which was like a hundred some dollars. Comes with a one year warranty. I'll give you the receipt for that. So if it ever dies on you, you can just get a new one. But I am gonna up the price on the bike because I gotta put more money into it. And I'm already underselling it, 2,500. Everyone's telling me it's ridiculous. Um, so I'm gonna sell it probably around 2,800 right now. And if I put even more money into it, it's gonna go up to 3,000, which is still a very, very fair price. I see bikes online with two thousand two thousand dollars to three thousand that are dropped have salvage titles and you don't know what you're getting this title is clean hasn't been dropped adult owned uh never raced you know i pushed it a little bit you know on the highway but i don't get stupid and pop wheelies and crap uh as you can tell you look at the front forks the seals are good. That's another way you can tell if you're looking at a bike. If people pop wheelies and crap, this will these will be shot, and you'll be leaking oil. That's one good way to know if the bike was abused. So new tires, HID lights. Um, this little corner piece is missing, uh, but it's only like ten, fifteen bucks on eBay. Easily get one of those. All right, so what else? Aftermarket Yoshimir RS5 pipe, which is about $400. Uh, only thing it needs probably now is a new chain and an oil change. Um, like I said, the more and more I do, the more I gotta up it because I gotta get my money back. But it is a great running bike. Just rode it 100 miles from my dad's from storage. No problems at all. Runs super smooth. Super reliable bike. Had it for five years in storage for two. Used to daily it to work. Very reliable. 2008 CBR 600 RR is probably one of the best years that they made the Honda CBR. Very comfortable bike. A lot of, uh, super sports the seating position is really aggressive the cbr is right in the mid range you're not too hunched over the tank uh you're kind of a little bit more upright a lot more uh balanced as a lot of hondas are very balanced bikes um but super super great bike got nothing else good to say about it uh, a lot of people who own hondas know that they are super reliable and they are great bikes. Alrighty, let me just go ahead and start it up for you real quick. So you have the fuel pump kick on, new strong battery, 42,799 miles. Starts right up. Aftermarket brake levers. I said they're sun faded though, because they were the cheaper ones. 
and they're about five, six years old. Yeah, but that's about it. Um, the little things I would recommend probably would be a new brake fluid change eventually. Nothing's wrong with it right now, but I would recommend it just to be safe. If you're on two wheels, you want everything to be maintained. Um, that's about it. It's a great, great running bike. I love this bike, uh, but I don't really ride it anymore. Um, that's about it. If you have any questions, just send me a message on the Facebook. Um, you can run 87 on it. I never had a problem. I usually run 91 though, so you could prevent future maintenance on the bike because of hotter burning fuel. We'll keep the valves and combustion chamber cleaner. Um, it's like using the fuel additive, but better. You're constantly keeping high temperatures and the bike likes 91 all right but new battery new tires gonna probably do a new chain today now that that it'll be ready to ride super reliable bike and just a little cosmetic wear and tear and that's the only thing clean title notarized good to go the first person with the cash all right